Good morning everyone, I'm Anna Faye and today I'm going to share with you how to create a Gantt chart, a simple Gantt chart using Excel. So before that, let us first define what is Gantt chart according to Google. So a Gantt chart is a graphical depiction of a project schedule. So what's in the Gantt chart it is the milestones of the project, the start time or date I mean start date of the project and then the duration of the milestone on how long should it last all right and again chart was actually developed by Henry Kant an American mechanical engineer so he actually designed Gantt chart all right so let's proceed so this is actually our um, output later on so let's try to um, do that one so say okay let's just copy that one so Say, for example, your project is to create a website for for a certain company, all right? So, and then these are your milestones. So, these are the typical milestones when you are going to create a website. So, first is the project kickoff. So, when you say project kickoff, there is um, welcome messages. There are gathering of information and the design and, and how the work, um, the workflow of the website with me and then next is the mock-up designer the design phase and then next is the web development phase so if you are going to use wordpress in your website so that's the time that you're going to convert the mock-up design the psd design into html css and then you're going to convert it in wordpress and then next is web testing and lastly is the project closure all right, so these are the um, start dates of the project and the duration in days okay so what are you going to do is simply highlight and then you're going to insert and you're going to choose this 2d bar okay so um you can add a title website project and then um you can remove this one here okay and the first thing that you are going to do is to you are going to um reverse this milestone because it is inverted so simply um format access and then um, choose a category number one and then categories in reverse order okay so this should be the output of um, of that one and then next would be we are going to eliminate this um, blue um, bar so how are you going to eliminate that one so you're going to um, select field no field because these are only the the things that we have to look into next is we are going to um, change the dates because notice that these these dates are not correct so what you're going to do is simply right click the plus button and then access more options and then um, as you can see there is what we call access options so um, you're going to populate here the in the minimum the start date and then the end date of your project so um, it should be in that format so how do you do that so okay so you have say for example the start date of your project is october 18 so 18 october this is just the format of my date okay um 2020 okay so as you can see this is custom so you're just going to um change it to general so it has changed let's um go back to access and then we are going to add this one this is 44122 okay so notice that our date starts with october um 2020 and then um it ends with um we cannot still see it so um since the the project closure is um, on november 22 but it is duration is three days because we still have to wait for the client um, approval of if there is um, if there are any questions from the client. So we will have it on November twenty four. So we have November twenty four, twenty twenty. Okay. So again, it's custom, and then we are going to change it into date. So four four one. Let me just check it. Okay. So that is 44159. Okay, and then we're going to change the major into 7. Okay. 
Alright, so um, that's it. Um, this is your simple Gantt chart already for your for your project. Thank you so much. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.